for the abstract reasoning section so it will be partially me being on the iPad but it's more like to save you time because you're able to screenshot this and hopefully use this for your benefit so hopefully you'll be able to see from the screen to your right that scan stands for shape color arrangement number and size so this is very very important that you have something similar to this and every question that you do you add two scans you add to each section so that you build a bank in your head now this is very important because it allows you to systematically cross off any rules that you may have assumed does work or do work because sometimes rules can work together in conjunction with each other back to the ipad you'll be able to see that with shape right angle obtuse acute angles those are one of the most obvious cases that um, essentially are shown and that you'd be able to clock almost instantly convex concave once you know what that really is the questions hopefully will be a lot simpler than how you presume open and closed it's a very colloquial term however it simply describes whether the shape is described to be open and whether it's basically like that or whether it's closed basically a circle and the descriptions on Medify with the explanations really make clear what is intended by some of these rules. Now with colour, presumably me, I found this section really difficult within the exam because there were a lot of pattern questions. Now one of the most obvious rules are arrangement within some of the shapes and abstract reasoning. So the arrangement section is probably one of the easiest to be able to sort of bag those marks. So the clockwise, anti-clockwise, nearly everyone knows what that is. And the angles add up to certain degrees. Presumably I'd say 360 or sometimes it will be obvious once you realise if there's no other rules. Now numbers probably the most easiest to spot if it's odd and even, if they're square numbers, if they're odd numbers, if they're triangle numbers. Um, I haven't included triangle numbers here, so hopefully I'll try to with my funky handwriting. Now with size, usually there are two, absolute and relative. Relativity essentially is a comparison between two different objects. Now some people will probably say special relativity and probably try crack a joke. But as you can tell, I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning and um, I don't enjoy jokes at this sort of time. So back with the question, we can see that relativity is either absolute um, or relative and essentially big, medium, small shapes. Hopefully that becomes a little bit clear once you do a lot of questions on Medify. But the plan is to do roughly, I'm going to put it down, 700 questions before you go into your real exam. And this is not including any of the mini mocks this is not including any of the official uk cat mocks this 700 questions are very very important there is no substitute to doing questions for abstract reasoning if you fail to do questions you will fail to do well like we all know the cliche proverb if you fail to prepare you prepare to fail now abstract reasoning is a section that if you do not practice I will guarantee you that you will fail. Now the last statement within this uh, section is essentially that there may be multiple rules within a set. Now as I've said prior, there are going to be some questions that you probably will not get no matter how much practice that you do. But there is a possibility, there is a reasonable chance that if you're able to answer all the questions except for three to four, you can score within the 800s. Now scoring within the 800s, like I've described before, will compensate for one of your other sections. There are many stats and hopefully I will show you when I go through examples of the scoring of people who have entered St George's. And because the UCAT is an average of all four sections, there are some who absolutely fail the verbal reasoning section but compensate for it within the AR section as they're scoring 800. There are multiple people who score 900. Now this is a section that allows you to perform on a different level and I hope that's clear so let's move on to the next section of the course. If you have very minimal time I have an ebook that is present in the link description and that's my killer 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 tips. Essentially I explained them in the video but there are some tips in there that I haven't really explained. Basically catch you guys on the other side. Why is it hard for me? Why is it hard?